it's Issa with Journey to Programming. I want to know, how do you structure your job searching routine? Do you have one? Are you currently having an issue trying to land a job? Are you doing a whole bunch, are you submitting a whole bunch of resumes and just finding no success in landing any interviews? No recruiters are giving you a call or any of that. Well, what's your routine to start with? That's, that's where you should be focusing on right now if you're failing to find a job or at least land some interviews. There's your routine and then there's the actual application materials. If your application materials suck, then that may be why nobody's getting back to you. But if your routine sucks as well, then maybe you're not giving yourself enough variety of jobs that you're applying to, okay? If you're desperate for a job, if you're out of work right now, you really want to make a um, kind of make your chances good in order to land a job, then you really need to be focusing on it. You need to be doing it full time. Your job, 40 hours a week, 80 hours a week, 100 hours a week, whatever it is, when you don't have a job and when you're desperate, should be getting a dang job, okay? So you should be waking up early, trying to work on your resume, work on your portfolio materials, fix up your resume, send it out. Don't stress about it too much unless it's a role you're really interested in, but you should be sending out your resume. Send it out. Send out your cover letter. Tweak your cover letter. Tweak your resume if you're not getting any feedback. You should be doing this most of the day. At lunchtime, take a break. Just go grab some lunch, make something at home. Obviously, you want to keep it nice and lean financially because you're currently struggling and looking for work, right? Or you're trying to change jobs, right? So you want to go, wake up, submit applications, tweak stuff, think about it, try to improve your odds. Then go ahead, have your lunch, come back, put out more applications. Go have dinner, come back, put out applications. If you're serious about it, you need to look at it like it's a job. You need to look at it like it's two jobs. It is your full-time job, okay, to find a job. Now, if you're not desperate, if you're in another job already, say you're in industry and you're a software developer already, but you really want to jump ship and you want to go somewhere else, then outside of your business hours, outside of the work hours that you normally put in, you need to be thinking about it like a second job. You need to be putting out your resume, putting out feelers, seeing if people are biting, if you're landing interviews, if you're not. You need to tweak your application materials, and you really need to take it seriously. You need to work on your portfolio to make yourself look better so that you present yourself as a more interesting candidate for roles, and there's a ton of ways to do that. You can ask peers and colleagues to review your application materials, see if they'll look at your resume for you, see if they'll check out your cover letter, give you some uh, feedback and critique. Send it to me, I'll, I'll take a look, and if you guys want, just send it to my email. You guys should already have that. I'll post it down below. Uh, I'll also probably make a link for that. But seriously, if you want a job, you need to work to get it. No one's just going to hand it to you. You may get lucky if you shoot out 10 applications and you happen to land one, but really you should be working on more of that. You should be putting out at least probably 10 applications a day. And I know there's some applications that are really long-winded and you have to go onto a company website, sign up for their portal, add all your history and experiences onto there, and then you submit it. But even then, it doesn't take more than an hour once you've gotten used to that process. It's a little tough when you first start out, but once you've done it a few times, you could probably do each one of those applications within 30 minutes. If you're really tweaking your resume and your cover letter for every role you're applying to, okay, maybe an hour, hour 15 tops. And as you get faster, as you do it more, you're going to get faster. You should be putting out 10 applications minimum a day. Then there's career board websites like Indeed, there's Career Builder, a whole bunch of these websites. Jump on, make a profile, and then look at the jobs they have. Some of them are going to be links out to a career board or a job board on a company's website, which you're going to have to go through the standard application process, which may take you 30 minutes to an hour. But then they have a lot of the really fast one-click applications, which you can do on there. And a lot of people don't like them, but to be honest, who cares? Just do it. Submit the applications and see what happens. I, I can't tell you how many interviews I've got from that process and how many job offers I've got. I've got job offers for the past few years after taking interviews, and I've taken probably at least 40, 50 different type of interviews over the past six months doing it that way, and it works for me. Other people may say it doesn't work. If it doesn't work for you, 
tweak your resume, tweak your cover letter. If it's not working, and then if it starts working, great. Keep on doing it. Keep on doing it. When you start seeing a little bit of success, don't stop there. Just keep on going. Play with that momentum and just keep on going. Get some more applications out there. The more interviews you do, the better you get at it, and the easier it's going to be the next time. So, moral of the story, if you need a job, work your rear end off to get it. And you should be putting out at least 10 applications a day. If you start doing these job board websites and the easy apply type application, you should be able to put out at least two, three dozen a day, okay? In a two, three hour time block, you could probably put out a few dozen. And of course, they're hit or miss if they're gonna work. It's something which a lot of people, again, complain about. They say that it's a waste of your time. I disagree, I've, I've got a lot of interviews from doing that process. I've gotten interviews and offers that interviews that have landed into offers for 60K, I've gotten some for 75, I've gotten a few for over 100, and that's great. So if you're looking for a job, it's not gonna hurt. If that company's accepting easy applies, then there's a reason for it. They just need candidates to apply to them. So submit your application, it's not gonna hurt you. Again, this is East with Journey to Programming. Have a good one, you guys, and uh, check out my links down below. And if you guys wanna submit your resume, feel free. Have a good one.